Why, hello there. What's up? Today, I'm going to be showing you all my top five mods. I mean, not of all time, but just vanilla Minecraft. Or vanilla plus mods, I should say. Personally, I'm a little biased because all vanilla plus mods are, like, my favorites. I don't really like crazy technical stuff or stuff that, like, feels not Minecrafty. you know? That's probably why I like like create so much because it feel it's a technical mod but it doesn't feel like crazy it doesn't introduce all sorts of new mechanics of course it does introduce new mechanics but they feel like they could fit into the vanilla game anyways yeah i'm going to be showing you my top 5 vanilla mods that i basically have to have in my mod pack always also i'm going to start doing a new fancy little thing I am going to be shouting out my newest subscribers um, that have, or, and, well, and my longest subscriber at the end of the video. So if you want to have a shout out, I know I'm doing this, it's kind of concerning. I've, re I've really degraded to this level of content. But if you want a shout out, make sure to subscribe and or leave a comment. Um, comments will probably get shout outs more than subscribers but if you're a public subscriber then you might also get a shout out so just keep that in mind if you want anyways yeah that's probably enough of me talking you probably ready to see the mods let's go also just a quick side note these will be pretty common mods so you will have probably seen like four out of five of them if you've ever played modded before just a heads up it this might not be the video for you but if you're new to bonding and you want some vanilla plus mods this is the place to be first on the list today we have alex's mobs now alex's mobs is one of my favorites because it adds mobs that fit really well into the vanilla game not only do they just fill, fit into the original game, they also all have very unique features. Literally not one mob in this mod doesn't have some kind of cool feature. All of them are so cool. For example, for example, they are, are these little critters. And when you try to eat food around them, they will beg for food. If you give them food, they'll just <laughs> do that. Oh, and we can't forget about one of my favorite parts of the mod, which is maracas. Just kidding, it's dancing cockroaches. I mean, how could you not like it? Not only do all the mobs have fun interactions with the player, but they also have fun interactions with other mobs. <laughs> oh my god, they just murdered the entire hive. Also, that little baby is just chilling. That's kind of amazing. This mod o adds over 80 vanilla mobs. That is insane. 80 mobs. I mean, and they all have interactions. This mod is awesome. And of course, these mobs range from mobs in real life and um, mobs in uh, not so real life. Okay, I just got totally sidetracked. I just found a giant F in the nether. I was gonna record for, I'm gonna record for a segment, but like, I, I, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't like not show this. Well, there's also some mobs that, um, uh, that aren't so friendly. Oh, God. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay, I probably... Uh oh, no. Um, that's not exactly... Uh oh, no. This is also my favorite mob. And the best mob, because, like, it... Well, I don't really know what it's doing right now, but it's cool. I mean, my man is just, like, flying. Wait, hold up. Can I... That is pure skill. The next mod I'm going to be covering is called It Takes a Pillage. This mod adds structures based around, well, I mean, pillagers. And not only pillagers, actually, that just goes for a lot of villagers. Speaking of villagers, this mod adds three new ones. The Legonder, 
which is this guy. The archer, which is this guy. He kind of looks like an illusioner. And then the skirmisher, which is basically a vindicator, but it's like a piglin brute, but vindicator brute. Uh, I'm gonna just go into survival mode, and oh god. Uh, so basic- oh man, that- the, uh, the skirmisher's really fast. Ah, okay, you can also see how much damage it did. Uh, the archer is basically, uh, really good at shooting. Uh, as you can see by me barely dodging all of his arrows, although he does shoot his friend, which is kind of stupid, but... They're basically- oh my god, this is kind of terrifying. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the archer is- crazy, and then the Lugander is just like a knight, but he is, um, oh man, I'm gonna die. Uh, he is kind of like a vindicator, but he also has a shield when you use a bow, he will block it, because, yeah, okay, I actually made it through that segment without dying, so I'm just gonna let my, yeah. Now this is, I believe, the Bastel, ba ba uh, uh. Big castle. That's what it is. It, it's a big castle. But I'm just gonna call it a big castle. They, uh, these, they have cells in them. And, yeah, they hold villagers. But also guard villagers, which I'll get to in a little bit. If you have the Quark mod installed, they'll, of course, have villagers in this cell. But they'll also have clay golems, which I really like clay golems. Although this is my first time seeing a straw golem from the straw golem mod in one of these cells, but I did make it so they spawn in villages, so maybe... I don't know. That's kind of weird, but okay, cool. Straw golems are also in the cells. So this is the big castle, but there's also pillager camps, which do also have all of the villagers listed, or illagers listed earlier. As you can see, these cells have a villager in them, that one's just chilling, and then this one has a clay golem who doesn't want to look at me for some reason. There's also some elephants from Alex's mobs just chilling outside here because they want to. But this mod basically just adds all sorts of new, fun, illager um, related things. It adds three new illagers, which are really cool, especially the archer. I really like the archer because he's like a harder version of an illusion- well, not harder version of an illusioner, but he is like kind of a skeleton and an illusioner had a baby, and it's really cool. There's also some other illager and villager mods that I have, um, but I'm not going to cover them in this video. If this video gets a lot of support, I will make a villager and illager special. Because I really like villagers and illagers. Alright, moving on to the next mod, I guess. Bonus mod, let's go! Okay, the bonus mod is guard villagers, as I talked about a little earlier. Now, I've just spawned these ones in, but normally, they will be protecting a village. They are basically golems, but less tanky, but, like, smart. And I'm about to show you why they're smart. I'm gonna spawn in an archer from the last mod. Boom! Well, uh... As you can see, they use shields, uh... Well, they weren't supposed to kill them that fast! Well, uh, let's, let's, let's try our luck and see how they do with a ravager! Oh! Well, uh, oh, actually, he's doing some good damn it. Oh my god, he just got flung. Okay, let's see. It's looking pretty good. Oh. Oh no, this is- Oh, uh, oh dear. Uh. Well, they're smart, okay? Just trust me on this. Because anybody who has ever watched me before knows that I am the best at PvP, I'm gonna 1v1 this guard. Let's go. Oh, oh. There. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, ow. Oh, my God. Ow! <laughs> Bro, my man has re- The next mod that we're going to be covering is Mousy's Mobs. 
one of my favorites, and it just got updated to 1.18.2. I'm so happy! As you can see in front of me, this is totally not a boss and will not harm me in any way. See? As you can see here, there are some nice glowing lanterns. These guys are really cool. I really like the appearance of them. This mod adds a little over 8 new mobs that are entirely smoothly animated, mind you. And they all have very unique drops and attack patterns. You're probably starting to notice a little bit of a trend. As you can see right now, I have a little disguise on, and I'm gonna head into this village of totally normal villagers. I mean, there's nothing wrong here. Uh, yeah, uh, well, not totally normal, I guess. You, these are the Barracoas, I believe? I don't, I, 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, these little ones you can trade with for, uh, five gold nuggets for two painted acacia wood. Also, that guy looks intimidating. Don't worry, I'll punch him later. You can also trade with this guy. Also, yeah, those achievement plaques. The, it, it, the mod is called achievement plaques. Bonus, bonus mod. Uh, also, you can find all these mods in the description. So, yeah. Go check them out. They're all great. I love them. I'm not going to be teaching you how to download them or import them because that's not my job. As you can see, I can trade with this man. And he can give me receive son's blessing, which basically gives me firebending from Avatar. <laughs> There's also some creative only items, such as the earth talisman, which, well, which makes you an earthbender. I mean. And, yep, that's, that's about it. You can just earth bend. There's also a earth boar gauntlet, which um, well, you can dig with. So that's pretty cool. This isn't creative only, but there's also um piranha plants from Mario, which are um surprise surprise. What, bro? Which are surprise surprise, bro? What the heck? Which are surprise surprise piranha plants, and they eat piranha. They do piranha things. Just you can see it with your own eyes. Anyways, ignoring that mess. Uh, there's also a big fat yeti monster, which um, well, he has a giant crystal of ice. But if you try to steal it, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. But now, uh, as the end of this mod, I'm going to smack the fat boy. Don't take that out. Uh, 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 cut that out. Are you ready, sir? Okay! Oh no, now they're all attacking me. Uh, he's summoning sun lasers. That's not good. Um, okay, I'm just gonna try to dodge and weave, uh, as long as I can! Holy moly. Is there any doors? No, I was gonna say I might just hide in the house, but no, there's no doors. Uh, I'm going to smack him. Uh-oh! Ow! Okay, this is- this is where I die. Actually, never mind. I guess I'm fine. Um, I'm being- I'm still being chased. Uh, no- okay. Um, you need to die, 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 die. Oh my god, I have a heart. Uh-oh. Oh man, oh man. Uh-oh! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, anything? Oh? Wait. What? What? Bro, legit, I think the elephant just killed him. Oh! <laughs> Dude! 
Bro. That is amazing. Okay, that's a great way to end it. The next mod I will be quickly covering. <laughs> Bro. <clears throat> The next mod I will be covering is the Critters in Companions mod. I'm just going to spawn all eight mobs really quick. The first one is the Dragonfly, which does bug things. Wait, where did Okay. Bug things. The second mob, and the only tameable mob as of now, is the Ferret. It's so cute. Oh, oh. I don't think it likes me. The next mob is the otter, which likes clams and does cute little otter things. Cute, I guess. Well, now he's swimming. Actually, that leads us into the water because the next mob is a Dumbo octopus, which does octopus things? I guess, I don't know. Uh, oh, there goes the otter. Let's check out another clam. Oh, there it goes. What's it do? Oh, it's getting the clam. Okay. What's it gonna do? Oh, it's coming to land. Wait, will it eat it underwater? What's it gonna do? Oh, it's just gonna eat it up here and then it's gonna. Yup, there it goes. The next mob is the koi fish, which is also in the water. I think the ferrets eat the. Or not ferrets. Uh, otters eat the koi fish. Uh, yeah. What? Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> now what's it gonna do? <gasps> oh, that's way cuter. I love that. The last water mob is the sea bunny, which is a bunny. I in the sea. I is it a bunny? Comment below if this is a bunny or not. While you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. The next one is the leaf insect, which, I mean, it, it, um, it's a leaf. And the last one is the one that you saw in the introduction to this mod, the red panda! It, oh, oh, uh, is it posing? Oh, uh. I don't know what it's doing, to be honest. I think it's just doing... I guess it's doing... Oh my god, the monkey! <laughs> Are they playing? What is happening? The monkey in the... Oh my... Okay, I've... it's time to get out of here. Final mod. The last mod that I will be covering today is buddy cards. So, yeah, it's not a mob mod, which is kind of crazy for me, because I really like mobs. So, what are buddy cards? Well, buddy cards are basically Pokemon cards, because, uh, I don't know. But I, what I do know is that you can get buddy cards from explorings, like dungeons and nether fortresses. Actually, to be more clear, you can get the buddy card packs. And the packs can obviously be opened. So I have three buddy card packs here. And I have, I just got two saps, which is like a tree, you can read. The, I have oinky, and I have bling. And basically, the, you can see the corners of the cards have this, um, the, like, gold. Um, you can tell by their rarity, because some of them have different corners and different font, or different colors of text. That was, that was slightly confusing, it's fine. Just open these other two. Ooh, got some new ones. I got, ooh, I got a rare wheat. Um, it's shiny. Uh, snowball <laughs> Red tick. And yeah. So, and then next, the last one. Grassling, aqua, copper, and rare aqua. Hmm. There are also some enchantments in this, but I don't really know how to use them. But, to store your buddy cards, you can put them in this buddy card binder. So I'm just going to chuck all my buddy cards in there, and boom! I have a buddy card binder. It's literally Pokemon. So I flew over, I flew over to a random location, and there's this house, and I haven't seen this house before. And I'm kind of curious, so I'm gonna explore it. Oh, there's a little... 
Oh, you. Who are you? Oh, okay. Uh, Hunter Illager. You need to die, sir. Oh, wow. You dropped a lot of stuff. You know, I'll take it. What is this place? Hmm. I guess it's like his hunter. Oh, yeah, because it was a hunter illager, so it's like a shack. Um, what's he got? Ooh, iron. Not that I need it. I'm, I can go in creative mode at any time, but, you know, it's a good thought. Uh, oh, scaffold. Nice. Epic. Boomerang. What does this do? Hmm. What was that noise? Oh god, it's another one. Oh! Hi there, sir! Chuck the boomerang at him? <gasps> oh, oh! Oh! Okay. I just... <laughs> That's kind of fun. Ooh. Oh! Uh-oh! Uh, bro, he just stole my boomerang! Okay, I'm just gonna... No, not with the buddy card binder. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, no. Die, please. Uh... Why, why do I do these things? Well, that was a lot of fun. I kind of like doing mod reviews, although it did take me over two hours just for like 20 minutes of gameplay, so that kind of sucked. Also, um, if you're wondering why I didn't put the create mod on here. Well, either I want to make a whole video on it, or the other option, or the other reason might be is, um, I kind of don't have it in this mod pack. I'll let you decide. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't have my normal outro because I'm not using Lunar Client, so that kind of sucks. So I'm going to do a different outro. I'm going to try to survive as long as I can while uh, my video uh, suggestions are playing. So, um, w uh, wish me luck. Okay, goodbye. Subscribe, leave a like, do all the fancy things, and yep, alright. Bye-bye. Dude, it wasn't supposed to be that fast! Oh my god. I, I really should just stop doing this garbage. So yeah, I kind of forgot to do the shoutouts, so I'm gonna do those real quick. Thank you to Nuteta Namket. I think- I- I- I really hope I am pronouncing your name right. If you're still watching, thank you for the subscription, and you are my first public subscriber. Clap, clap for you. Wait, hold on. Uh. Uh, is- there's no clapping emoji? Well, I'm just gonna salute to you. There you go. And for my newest subscriber, thank you to Will Hanny. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Anyways, I have some... I mean, I don't really have anything to do, but I'm not gonna record anymore, so see ya. Uh, see ya. Bro, why is the button not...